but this is a, a still life that he set up in a later time. And it's, I said, oh my God, look at all the crap that he's got in there that he has to paint and that, and it's all different. And then I understand why he did it because each, each of the objects in there have a different reason, a different texture, a different, different problem to paint. So uh, this is my first still life. And he also introduced us to critiques, which are really, per I've never been in a critique before. And the, where the students sit around and they're going to talk about your painting, but he didn't say any how to, how to critique or how to do it. So people just sat there. They didn't know what to do. They did not know what to do. They just sat. He didn't care. So he just said, but listen, he just waited until somebody talked. <laughs> And then pretty soon, a person said, isn't this box here supposed to be inside, fit inside of that hole? And I looked at that and I said, oh, mm, no way would that fit there. I said, so that's the purpose of the critique. The kid made an observation, perfectly good observation, and I never thought about it. So that's a good thing. So of course, Then we did a million different, had nice, uh, nice people to paint. We had a lot of models. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a model. He was a good model because I, we never moved much and he fell asleep. And, <laughs> and he had these nice round lines, you know, yeah. easy to yeah. do. And so I dug this painting up for the show. It was a. Uh, really dirty and uh, messy. So just recently I repainted it in the same colors because it was in bad shape. And I, at the time, uh, in, the, in the early 60s, 69, Jasper Johns and a lot of other painters were using found objects to include in their paintings. And I said, why, you can do that? You know, that was an epiphany. I, I, I didn't know you could do that with oil paints. You can add things to them. So that's a new thing. So he said, well, why not? So I attached an apple to him, called him Adam's apple. <laughs> and, you know, he's just a still life. And, and uh, but a fun, fun time. I, I just like to keep this painting because it was really, um, all doing all those models was a lot of fun, I thought. Vicki, you had to do that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Take the water. So then, uh, mm. then I was on my own for a while. This is not. Now, it was a class, but it wasn't the same class. And uh, I painted in a totally different way. I made up these landscapes, a whole bunch of them. Um, some large ones and big ones, but this one was painted twice. I painted in um, acro uh, yeah, acrylic with organic colors like burnt sienna, burnt umber, uh, chrome green, all those colors. So it was very earth, earthy colors. So, and I did them very fast. There is no such place like this. It's just made up. And I do them in, in within an hour or two. Oh my God. Then I did lots of these. <coughs> I, thought I, was, I, I thought I was getting smart. But, <laughs> And so I, I did a big one, as big as these over here, and I entered it in uh, my first Kalamazoo area show back in 69. That was when I first got out of school. And I just tried it to see what would happen. And funny, all the teachers that I had, Joe DeLuca, um, they were all in the show, the same show I, that I entered in. In, in here, and uh, I was one of the four winners. And I thought, oh, this is simple stuff. <laughs> I just painted this thing, and 
and I, this this was a huge painting, and I and I because of Steve's class, he opened me to you could paint any way you want to paint, and you can do any material you want to use. I could add anything. So I actually used a uh, a straw broom to paint this suit with a broom and brushes and all, and all within about a weekend and think done very fast and now my paintings today take forever to do but uh and it sold the same and the th same things so i don't have it anymore a guy from uh, chicago uh, uh, wagner gallery bought it and it lost and i should have kept something because i don't have too much stuff for that time so off it goes and uh this is another, this is the one that I found just recently. And so I, th I wondered, what if I painted over it with the same, with the colors that I use today, different than, with the new palette that I use today. And th that's what I did, uh, just for fun. No, no reason. Um, then you have to keep trying, you have to keep struggling. Uh, <laughs> the people in our class, they've heard that word enough. <laughs> Keep struggling. Um, so 